what it is people so today or in this video I want to talk about a concept that is called a pointer now that is something that a lot of people who come to C++ have issues with and it's not that hard when you understand what you're doing but in order to understand what we are doing I just want to explain one thing and that is let's pretend this right here that I'm drawing is a computer and not like your physical product desktop computer it's the memory that computer is writing to because all the code that we write will be loaded up into the memory. So our app, our games, the code that we write will be put in this memory and the CPU, so the CPU will get the execution commands or the execution guidelines from the memory, like the integers that we wrote, the strings that we created, floats, doubles, all that will be written into memory and every single one of those variables will have its place in the memory and it will have its own memory location. So for example, if I say here int a is equal to five, this int a will have a reference or it will have a location inside of this memory. Let's say this location is over here. So that location for this integer is over there. And that location is denoted with bytes and blah, 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 you know, those zeros and ones and some numbers. I don't know how it works behind the scene because I never was interested to know and it's not my business to know, but I know that it goes in the memory. Now, these pointers that I'm going to talk about, they are pointers to that memory, to that memory of that variable in the, well, in the memory. So for example, let's say here I have this int a, and if I do this, and what did I just do? Come on. Why did it move from the code? So if I do this std, or actually we're using it, so if I say c out like this, and if I say the a value is colon like this, and if I say a like this, and I say end l, if I print this, well, no surprise, we will see the value is five, and that is totally fine. But if I do something like this, if I say this c out, not c out, C out and if I say the memory address, and I'm going to say it like this, all caps, of the A variable, A variable is colon like this, and we say colon colon over here, and in order to print the memory address of the variable, we need to use the and sign and that variable name, and then here I'm going to say and ln, and l, not and ln, so yeah. What do you think this right here is going to print? Well, let's say if I go here and run my app, we will see something really, really, well, cool. As you can see over here, the value of the A value, the A value, the A value is five, but you see the memory address of the A variable is, you see, 010FFDC4. You see, this is that memory that I was talking about because this value 5 is not stored as a value 5 over here in the memory. Instead, this memory, it's written like this. I imagine it looks like this. So, yeah, you should also think it looks like that. <laughs> Just kidding. But, anyways, that memory address of this A variable is written in this well format so 010ffdc4 so this is that memory address inside of your computer so inside of the memory of your computer so that's for our integer over here well actually this will be for every variable that we declare but in this case it's for our integer that we have over here now if we want to declare a pointer who is pointing to the memory address of our A variable, how can we do that? Well, here we have an int pointer, so I can say int, and to denote that is it is a pointer, I can say this asterisk sign or multiplication sign or star, however you wanna call it. And then I can say pointer to A, for example, pointer to A like this, and now in order to make it point to the memory address, I cannot just type here A, so this will not work. You see, it doesn't work. It says the value of type int cannot be used to initialize entity of type int pointer because we are pointing or the pointer needs to point to the memory address, not to the value 
You see, that is the difference. That's why I printed this here. And again, if I go and print this out, so if I go and print this out, you see the value and the memory, it, they are different things. The value is over here and the memory address for that value is this right here, which means at this memory address, we will locate this value of five. And at this five value, we will not locate the memory address. So basically that's how it works. Think of, think of the memory address like the house or the place where the value lives. So we cannot find the, the place where the value is where the val at the value itself, but we can find the value at its place where it lives. So that's like the closest explanation for it. But as I already said, if I remove the comment over here in order to denote that we are pointing to the memory address, we need to use the and sign like this. So now pointer to A will have the memory address to it. So it will have the memory address to it. Now notice this over here, I use int pointer and I'm pointing that out. I'm pointing to the pointer. I'm pointing that out because we can also declare a void pointer. So I can say, for example, void pointer like this, and I can say some pointer, some pointer like this, and we can then set it same way. So we can set it that it is pointing to the A or the memory address of our A variable. But what is the difference here? Well, the difference over here is if we try to use this way. So for example, if I try to do this, so if I say C out, so C out like this, and if I say the value of some pointer, is like this. And if I want to print the value of it, I will need to use like this, this percent or this asterisk sign because it is a pointer. And then I will use this right here. And then this less than less than sign and end L to end the line. So what is the difference over here? Well, some pointer, you see expression must be a pointer to a complete object type. It doesn't know which type of pointer this is. It doesn't know to which type of variable it is pointing because again, we are pointing, as I already said, you see here, we are pointing as a void pointer. But if I were to use here pointer to A, it will know it exactly because pointer to A is an integer. It already knows it is an integer, so it is ready to use it. But this is something that I just wanted to bring up because if you see this in the code, so that you know what it is. A void pointer is simply a pointer that we don't know what type it will point to. But when we start working with Unreal Engine, we will exactly know what type of pointer will be returned from the functions because it is very well documented. We will see it will return a pointer of, I don't know, this variable or that variable, a actor or world or whatever, and then we will be able to create that variable. So don't worry about that. So I'm gonna remove this from here. And here I can say the value of, instead of some pointer, I'm going to say here pointer to A is, and below I'm also going to print the memory address of it. So I'm going to say C out like this column or less than sign, less than sign. I'm going to say the memory address of pointer to A is colon like this. And here, how can we print the memory of it? Because here we're printing the value. Well, to print the memory simply because it is already pointing to a memory, we simply call it like this and here I'm going to end L and I'm also going to print here in between these two C out like this and I'm going to say end L I'm always saying end L and it's simply end L end line and I'm printing it in between so that I have a space between these two prints. So if I go now and run the application, what do you think will be printed here in this console. Well, if I go pay attention here for the first one, the a value is five. The memory address of the a variable is you see 001 FF814. But pay attention here, the value of pointer a is five. And the memory address of pointer a is 001 FF814. So they are the same because well, our pointer is pointing to that memory address and they should be the same because this right here is pointing to the memory address of this variable. Now notice here one thing, if we want to access the value of the pointer, we need to use the asterisk sign or the multiplication sign to access the value. But if we want to access the memory, because essentially this variable stores the memory. So again, the pointer stores the memory location. So it is storing the memory location of this 
variable. And at that memory location, we can get its value. Think of it like this. Let's say, for example, you are a person. So this is you and I draw very well. And let's say you are at this location and I have a reference or I'm, I know where your location is, but I don't know where you are or who you are. So here we can ask, okay, who is at this location? It will tell, well, it's you. So like that's the closest explanation that I can you know, think of. But yeah, literally you are at the location. And if I say, okay, who is at this location? Give me the person at this location, AKA person is the value. So it will tell me the value. As you already saw here, the value of pointer A, and we use the asterisk sign to set that value. But let me show you one thing over here. If I comment this out, what do you think will happen if I, and I'm going to copy this again. So I'm going to copy and paste this again. What do you think will happen if I change the value of the pointer? So in order again to access the value the pointer is holding, we need to use the asterisk sign or the multiplication sign or the star sign. And now I can ask or I can access the value and I now I can change that value. So if I say, for example, now the value is 67, what do you think these two prints will print? Well, let's test it out. If I run the app and if I click here, yes, notice what we have over here. So pay attention. What do we have in the first print, which is the initial print, this one right here, when we didn't change the value, you see the value is five. The address is zero, zero, E, F, F, E, four, zero. But notice now the value is 67. The address will still stay the same though. You see the address zero, zero, E, F, F, E, for zero, but the value has changed. The value now is 67. Why? Well, if I go back over here, we change the value with the pointer. So we change the value with the pointer. So we use the pointer to change that value. And notice again, we're using the asterisk sign to access the value. The pointer is, well, that memory address is holding. Now, what do you think will happen here? Let me just do this. So this, 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 this. And here I'm going to print this out and this out, but I'm going to comment this out as well. What do you think will happen here if I do this? If I say now A is equal to, I don't know, 43. What do you think the prints over here are going to be? So take a guess, take a guess. And if I hit the run over here, hit the run. So if I run the application, we will notice that the value has changed again with the address not being changed because Again, the pointer is pointing to that location. You see here, the memory address of A is 010FFC40. The memory address of the pointer is 010FFC40, but the value here is 43. The value has changed because again, the pointer is pointing to that memory address. So it is pointing to the memory address. Think of it like this. Again, I'm going to use the example of the address. So here we have the address and the address is one. The address will never change. And let's say you are living in that or you are, you are living at that address. So let's say you are Carl and Carl is living at that address. Now let's assume that Carl moved. So Carl is not living at this address anymore. So I'm going to remove Carl from there. And now we have Kenny. So now we have Kenny who is living at that address. So this is Kenny. I'm going to simply say Kenny like this. So now Kenny is living at this address. If we call the pointer to tell us who is at this address, he will now tell us that Kenny is at that address because he is pointing. So he is pointing to the address and he will give us or he will tell us who is located at that address, no matter who it is. Now it's Kenny in, let's say we're renting that apartment and now Kenny is the guy who is renting it. Kenny has moved away. He is now, I don't know, in another city. So now let's say Johnny is there. But if we say pointer, who is at that location? We'll say now Johnny is over there because again, it's a pointer to a memory address. So yeah, this is a very powerful concept for programmers because we can use that memory address to access the variable or the value that's at that memory address and we can manipulate it. We can access its functions. If it's an object, we can access the functions of that object. We can, and don't worry, we will see what are objects and classes and whatnot. So that lecture is coming up. 
But again, we will be able to access its functions, its variables, so on and so forth. But again, in order to declare a pointer, we declare a type and then we add this asterisk sign. So this will denote it is a pointer. And here we are telling to it, you see here, we are telling to it, with this and sign, we want it to access the memory. And, how, and why the and sign? Well, again here, if you go to the memory address of the variable, we're using the and sign and the variable to access the memory. And here, when we are printing, you see, when we are actually calling with this, you see, with the asterisk sign and we are calling the pointer, this is actually potential, this is not potentially, but actually called dereferencing. Why? Well, because the pointer is pointing to a memory. If we want to get the value at that memory, we, we need to say like this. So we need to say with the asterisk sign. And again, I need to explain it because it's a, it's a really, it's a really tough concept that a lot of people have issues with. So again, if I go back over here, you see that if we just use pointer as is like this. So if we use it like this, it will print out the memory, which we see over here. But if we use it with the asterisk sign, then, or the multiplication sign, then he will print the value that is located at that memory. So this is the concept of pointers. And now you see that they are not scary at all. And especially when we start using them in Unreal Engine and so on and so forth, you will see that it's a really, really simple concept, but you know, people get scared very easily. Anyways, this was about pointers. Fire here from awesome2s.com. I will see you guys in the next video.